guys, it is like 7.30 in the morning, super early. Um, I don't feel that tired though, which is good, but I'm in the car on my way to my doctor's, ready to take this glucose test. Didn't eat anything since six o'clock last night, but I don't feel hungry for some reason. That salad was huge. But anyway, I figured I would start the vlog now before I get so busy, like trying to figure out how to take this damn test and I forget to vlog at all. But yeah, there was a bit of traffic, but it seems to be moving now. Yeah, I'm still not excited, I'm still not ready, but it is what it is. Just gotta get it over with. <laughs> okay, um, I'm in the car right now. I have an hour wait until my next part of my test. My face looks so greasy. Um, I took the glucose test and it really wasn't that bad. I don't know what I was expect. Well, I was expecting like a Gatorade, but really thick and like syrupy, kind of like drinking honey. I don't know why. That's what I just pictured in my head, an orange liquid. It was a clear, it was not that thick, and it tastes like flat orange soda. Like that's what I, I just looked up online because I'm like, does that mean I failed if it tastes good? But... <laughs> It didn't taste good. I didn't like it, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. So, yeah, I got three tubes of blood drawn. I have to get one more drawn in an hour and then one more in another hour. So, I'm sitting in the car right now. I have three options. Well, four, I guess. There's a new show that Liam told me about. It's called Prodigal Son. Um, he told me that I would probably be really into it and that I would like it. So... I might watch that. I brought my book, I brought my switch, or I can just like scroll on my phone. I think I might read because I haven't read in a couple of days, at least for a little bit. Guys, it is 1.15 in the afternoon and I just got finished with all of my appointments. I haven't eaten since around 7 p.m. yesterday at all. I only drank some water, that's it. Um, I'm starving, I'm thirsty, and I have to be. But I just got in contact with my sister. I'm trying to call Savannah, but she's not answering. Um, we're going fruit picking now, but I did just stop at um, Subway to get a sandwich, a buffalo chicken sandwich, because I haven't had one in so long, and I've been wanting one for a while. But anyway, I'm going to head to my mom's house right now and probably meet up with the others because I don't really know what's going on. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys because that's what these vlogs are about. Oh, also, the baby is measuring large, which I don't really know what that means. I'm 27 weeks, so if the baby's large already, I imagine by 40 weeks, if I make it to 40 weeks. So, the resident brought in a doctor. The doctor also measured me kind of not abnormally large. He said I wouldn't worry about it now, but I have another in-person appointment in two weeks that I have to go to that they're going to measure me again and hopefully um, everything is normal. If not, then I'm gonna to have to have a growth scan. I don't really know what that is. I was about to look that up because I don't, I've never been pregnant before. What happens during, what happens when you die? Oh my God, during a growth scan. All right, everyone is. Everyone ate. Everyone is dressed. We're about to leave out the house. Me and my oversized uterus. What are they doing? Pittsburgh. And it just came in yesterday, and I ordered it in March. It came from Wuhan. Did you try them on you? No, seriously, it came from China. And it came in like freaking some like DHL Express or something. Send me some pictures. And was stuck there for the whole time. Oh my god. Okay, like, corona is over. Just text me another picture. Send me a now. I'm already dead. <laughs> I'm already, I done died two months ago. <laughs> you're gonna send me my mask to my funeral. <laughs> Dang. You just have a funeral? Yeah. We are I'm going to picking now. We're about to get in the and car. Um, the it's going to be so fun. I'm excited. They like have raspberries Fuji. and some strawberries left. I love I raspberries, so like I'm that. excited to pick them. Liam's not coming because he didn't want to come. So Thanks to everyone that has been watching all my videos so far. Aren't they I great? Know. 
I mean, most of the times they're very boring. I know. But you've got to check out her is, other videos. They're my so life is fun. boring. Like all her vlogs, so basically. fun. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh. Yeah. I've been getting like 20 yeah. views on them. I was like, average. Food That's not bad. Yes, it's not bad. Food, I'm happy. Yeah, Whatever. Yeah, but soon you're gonna yeah, get 20,000. Like, oh, that would be the, I want the life. I just feel like. But yeah, thank yeah, you guys to so everyone that's reached out to me yeah. that told me whenever, to watch my videos. I, mean, I really appreciate it. Want, it means a lot to me. A lot. Free, I know I'm just so documenting again, this journey yeah, of me and my baby um, and this whole I mean, crazy time in the world. But yeah, it'll be great yeah. to look back on. And I'm but happy that I get to share it with you guys. Do, uh, I gotta go to the car and get my mask. So I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, it's a oh, yeah, Look so at this shirt. He got it from the thrift store yesterday. He watched it. Yeah. But it's yeah. so cute. This time, I mean. Look at the fit. Look at the fit. Where the pants from? Like you said, slightly more prepared. Uh, Feral 21, actually. Wow. I was walking. And then there's me. <laughs> <laughs> this shirt is from PacSun. I actually, funny story, I bought this shirt because when I first started dating Liam, I was spending the night at his house. And I would never have clothes to go home in the morning. So I bought some clothes from PacSun and left them there because I didn't want to put my bring my own clothes to his house because my clothes are so cute. I didn't want to leave them there. Like, what if some bitch stole them, you know? I'm just kidding, but. <laughs> we just made it to the fields. We're waiting on Rose still. Hassan got a spider on his back. It's so big. Oh my God, it's crawling up to your neck. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. That was tiny. Sorry if you're scared of spiders. Okay guys, everyone's here. We're walking up this little hill so we can start picking some berries. I got my quart container. It was $6, I think, right? So, $6 for this many strawberries, which isn't even that great of a deal. If you go to the market, they're like $1.99. But it's the experience. We're out here picking berries. I have a few so far. That really big one, Savannah just picked for me. <laughs> so many berries, I'm so excited. They smell so good. They do smell really good. Yeah. So it's been a little while later, and I have this many strawberries. This one, right on top, my prized possession. <laughs> Look how many they have. I got another Devin, Savannah. Wow. This is awesome. <laughs> Sweet. You're <wicked. laughs> All right, guys. My bucket is nice and full. I gotta walk with it carefully because some of them keep falling out. <laughs> but damn, these look good. I did good, guys. I got some good ones. I'm surprised I didn't see no like caterpillars. What do you have to say? Um. Oh. oh, oh. Subscribe to Chrissy's channel if you want to see a recipe on strawberry pie. Wow. <laughs> so we're reminiscing on apple picking and orchards and we were just saying like everything. At least if you overpick berries, you can like freeze them and stuff. But if you pick like 30 apples and you live in a household of four, how yeah. do you eat them? Like all? you cannot consume that many apples. You, you can put apples the right in the fridge thing. and they and do last like, a while. Yeah. But then we were like, oh, you can do like candy apples, parma apples, and then this brought up a story. So one time, if you guys have shop rights, I don't know. I don't know where your fan base is. Probably in like Germany. Just kidding. <laughs> but there's like a a little box that are near the apples and you can get the caramel ones Especially or the candy the ones. And they're red. So me and Christy <laughs> wanted to make the candy ones. And you have to cook the sugar so that it becomes liquid before, so you can coat the apple. So we have it in the pan and we're cooking it and then we're like, Not looking right. this doesn't look right. Like this is dry. This is whatever we said about it. This is too thin. This is too thick. I don't know. So we just kept cooking it and cooking it. And then it started to smell like burnt shit yeah. and rubber and plastic all in one. And Wait. then we took a spoon and like put some on a napkin to see how it looked <laughs> and it was legitimately black <laughs> the sugar was black and, we tasted it. and like yeah we burned it yeah. yeah we burnt it so bad i think i hear it i've been hearing it for a while i'm just 
Um, I don't have as many, but I'm really happy with the raspberries that I have. And these are like all the rows of bushes. There's actually not that many. Like as you can see, a lot of them are like really um, unripe still. So probably in like two weeks they'd be great. Mm -hmm. bigger, but we gotta work with what we have. And a little tip, if you wanna pick a good raspberry, if it comes off easily, probably ready. I mean, it should be ready. But if it's hard to tug like this one, definitely not ready. Thanks for the tip. No problem. Overall, what a great day. Look at mine. Look at mine, look at mine. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's delicious. Yummy for all of us. <sighs> Can't wait to belly eat shot. some and freeze some. Oh yeah. I haven't been through belly shots because I'm embarrassed. Just kidding, y'all be seeing my stomach every day. <laughs> We're home. Well, I'm at my mom's house. <laughs> this used to be my home. Oh, hey. Savannah is, oh thanks, making some delicious ramen for me. <laughs> for us so basically we're at my mom's house we made it home anyway. um she's making some delicious food i wanted tacos i've been wanting tacos for months now but <laughs> it's okay i'll get them one day <laughs> so before we put the noodles in the bowl this is what we got going on there's a lot we have bok choy sorry jalapenos eggs lots of seasonings we have chili peppers and mixed veggies down there and now we're just it's great this is a great life i can't wait final touches just water the noodles are done they smell so good this bowl is huge but i won't eat anything again for the rest of the night there's so much stuff in there. I'm so excited. I'm really excited for the bok choy. Comment down below if you're watching this and if you actually comment on my videos, what is your favorite vegetable? Because I think mine might be bok choy. I'm not sure. But it's definitely up there. What's yours? I think... I think broccoli. Broccoli? Broccoli is really good. Broccoli or carrots. Hmm. I'm not a huge carrot. I, I like carrots, but they're not like my go-to. Yeah. But carrots are good. I think broccoli's my favorite. Broccoli's good. <laughs> I used to love when we were a kid, eat the green beans off the can. The, green, the French just, cut style. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, guys. Savannah just pointed out the sunset. It looks like cotton Once candy. Again. <laughs> cotton candy. Just want to eat it, even though I'm so full. <laughs> Dinner's done, and we're out here playing some racquetball. It's kind of hard to see, but we had a little competition going on, or a challenge rather. Um, see if we can pass it back and forth ten times, and we did it. Okay, guys, I don't think I've updated you updated you guys in a while it's 11 30 now at night um but i just rinsed off all of the berries there's so many i also bought this korean melon from h mart the other day okay so it's all cut up this is half i brought the other half downstairs to lamb i'm about to try it it's really sweet it tastes like honeydew and cantaloupe mixed together. I pretty much started cleaning some of the house tonight. Uh, one of my friends just stopped by to pick something up. And I realized how embarrassed I was to keep my house in this state. Like it, I was, like I'm embarrassed of it, but I did nothing about it. So that made me do something about it. So I'm going to make sure that I get a head start on cleaning the house. Just because I also feel like I'm going to be going back to work soon. Which kind of sucks. But honestly, it is what it is. So 
I kind of want to get a lot of the house clean before I do go back to work because um, then I'll only have a few days off a week, like three days off a week, and I won't be able to do much. Like, I, I want to enjoy my days off, but I need to clean, so get where I'm going with this. Guys, guess what finally came in the mail? So these are two that I reordered after I had to get a refund. Um, because they never got delivered and they did deliver them so now I have like 80 Polaroid pictures which is amazing because I would love to take Polaroids of the baby when she gets here I also got some bio oil I just smelled it and it reminds me of Thanksgiving so I don't know how this is going to feel but I'm excited to try it this is for my stretch marks I got this belly butter from Burt's Bees that I heard good things about, so I'm going to try this. I also got this baby box from Amazon for um, doing my registry with them. I completed all the steps I needed to do, and then they sent me this box. So I'm really excited to open this, but I think I'm going to wait and do a whole separate video so I can like promote my channel, I guess, kind of. Not a vlog. But this is really cute. It says, congrats. A new adventure awaits at every stage. I'm feeling kind of tired because obviously I woke up so early today. But I did take a little nap in the car when we were on our way to go get berries. That was only like 30 minutes though. So I'm probably going to like finish cleaning up a little bit more for the night. Um, go to bed because I'm sleepy. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment down below and tell me what your favorite vegetable is. I'm just curious. And yeah, I hope you guys had a great day. Thank you for always watching. Like I said earlier, there's like a few people that I could name that I know watch my videos for sure. And I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>